Now we're in the interface of Salonis. And as you can see, Salonis already offers a few sample files or sample projects to work on. But in our case, we're going to select this option over here, upload CSV file. I will upload my file. Here I'm asked to confirm the settings and formatting for this event log. Let me check the date time. The date time appears to be correct because this one stands for month and this one stands for days. I will click on next. Now I am asked to identify the column that contains the case IDs, which is this one over here. Next, I'm asked to identify the activities. And finally, the timestamp. So now that we have identified all the columns we want and their respective role in our event log, we can go to the next option. You can see that Salonis now automatically defaults to the business minor mode. Let's see what it has to say about our process. I will click on this question. What are the bottlenecks in your process? This business minor is really cool. However, for the purpose of this section of the course, we are going to focus on the creation of dashboards used for process mining from scratch. Let's check out how that works. I will click on studio over here. Now that we are in the studio mode, I will go over here and click on create space. I will give it a name. Once I have named my space, I have to select a data model. And as you can see, in my case, there are a lot of different uploads and it can be quite hard to find back which one is related to the file that I just uploaded. So what I have to do here is I have to sort, change the sorting status from sort by name to sort by loaded status. So if I click on here, it will now resort it. And now I know that this one over here is the most recent file that I uploaded. This one here doesn't count because this is a demo file. So I will just click on this one. And then I click on create. Now that I have created a space, I will go over here and click on create package. And over here, I will click on analysis and then click create. In this section, I am prompted to work with different sheets, similar to Excel. You can see here that the edit mode is enabled. I can also change the edit mode back and forth. If I want to start with a basic process mining map, I can start with the Process Explorer over here.
there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the process map that people are usually talking and gushing about when they are talking about process mining. I can also create other tabs by clicking over here. Let's try a different way of creating a process map. I will click on create sheet, click on new sheet, add component, and here I click process explorer. As you can see, I can determine the size of this process map component in my dashboard. Let's try adding another component. As you can see, there's a whole list of different components I can pick and choose from. If I want, I can make the item smaller and larger like this. And I can also bring them to front or send them back. All right, guys, that was it for the basic introduction to the Salonis interface. In the next lectures, we will go more in depth using the pizza event log as our example case.